What's up everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm experimenting with a visual noise enhancer. This is an analog CRT creator generator, not really sure the technical term there. The camera that I use, the camera that I have is a Sony Handycam Video High 8. I've done an entire video about this camera, restoring it to its full working capabilities, and then additionally finding a way to digitize the footage. I've done a whole video on that, and I'll, I'll put the link to that here. And so yeah, if you're still here with me, like I said, the Visual Noise Enhancer is the official name for this device. Um, I was able to pick this up actually on Etsy from Stratisk, St no, let's try it again. Statisk Straments with a Z at the end. I bought this back in 2021 when I was really kind of getting into the analog and CRT thing. If you already have an analog camera, this will work and fit right into whatever workflow you already have. I think it's a great little tool. It's a, it's a great little, it's a fun little thing. I don't really know much about what it's doing to these different channels that give it this type of effect. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it um, and just start messing with some footage. Oh man, we could do it with live footage. I think that would be really cool. All right, so yeah, we got live footage here, so. All right, so yeah, this is the live footage right now. So this is what, um, you know, the footage looks like from this camera. This is me filming myself here. Filming myself, filming myself, of course, you know, naturally. Um, you know, the, the apartment and kind of the setup here. Um, just This is just to give you a little bit of taste of kind of what it all looks like without any effects on it, just so you have like a little reference point of kind of like what it looks like. One thing about this, this does require additional power. So you do have to plug this into some power. And the only thing it's got is an in and an out. Pretty simple setup, no rocket science here. You got two buttons, two levers, and two dials. And uh, their labels are on the back. You got noise mode, um, you've got noise mode disconnect. So I guess it's like gain, brightness, and noise. So you can add noise, but then maybe you need to add brightness. And it's kind of hard to know what these things really mean until you get going and just start dialing it in and, and figuring out what you like and what you don't like. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug everything in here. Take our input from our camera, we go ahead and plug her in. Let's see what we get. So you can already see we kind of got some effects going here on the screen, some, some warp, some wobbly, and I'm gonna go ahead and mess with this dial. This is the gain dial. So we're starting to see, yeah, I can totally darken the image or brighten it. And even when you, when you darken, you get real low, you're seeing the kind of RGB channels kind of come out of it. So it's kind of like a way to like dial your brightness and then this other dial really isn't doing anything for me right now. So I'm gonna flip the switch and see. Okay, that's not what we want. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. So this is that warp. This is the real, this is that CRT effect, you know. That's it right there and I'm looking at, right now this camera's just pouring out a water bottle on my, uh, <laughs> on my coffee table. So not the most exciting thing, but you can see how the signal goes from being normal to completely just, Oh yeah, and we lost some signal. So let's give it a try on some footage that I've already shot. So this is some footage that I shot at an event. We'll just see how it looks here. And I'll hit play. You know, you can do some cool effects on logos here. You know, you're seeing the logo, but then you're seeing, um, you're seeing it kind of get warped. So it kind of has a cool look to it. Obviously the first thing that's getting warped is like the highlights. So if you've got clips that have like, I think this works really, really well for like nighttime footage. And I mean, you can really only imagine the different ways that you can intentionally use this once you add this tool and you kind of figure out the looks that you can get, you know, you'd be able to kind of implement this in a way where you can intentionally shoot something knowing that you're gonna do this type of effect on it. Um, I think some, some silhouette shots would look really, really good. Some portrait stuff would look good, especially if you're trying to, you know, give something that distorted kind of crazy look. Oh yeah. 
the way things look at night, man. It looks, it looks really good. Let's switch one of the modes here and see if we get a different look. Sometimes we lose the color too, which I'm not exactly sure where that comes from. And obviously the camera here is going into night vision mode, and so with that, um, oh, okay, that's a lot. The camera's going into night vision mode, so you know we're getting a whole another look on top of it already. On top of what we're already kind of doing here. Oh yeah, here we're getting some really wild, colorful, uh, sharp edges. Um, where you can't even really tell what the f what you're actually looking at. So I'm gonna try to mess the game here, you know. Yeah, and I think if you're looking at uh, if you're trying to do something like this, oh, that looks crazy just with the grain. Yeah, you're getting really, really sharp shadows here where like the shadows are so dark and everything else is so distorted that it's like the shadows are kind of jumping at you. So, I mean, if you're able to kind of get a subject in a unique lighting situation here um, where you can create really high contrasting shadows, you know, you might be able to pull off a really, really unique look with a tool like this. <laughs> All these glitchy, like when, when the frame just kind of glitches out and you kind of lose it, like you can take these and create your own glitch assets with them. We shot this vertical because we were kind of meaning for it to be an Instagram post, but like this is kind of what I mean with, with creating really unique uh, looks on a person. Like that's crazy. That's like, that's crazy. Trying not to do too much here. Just see how, it, just see how it comes out, you know. Yeah, and you don't even really need to be anywhere special. You know, you don't need to go to a crazy location, a, a really high-end, fancy spot to shoot something like this. Like you could just shoot this with a couple of lights somewhere. It could be anywhere, and you know, you're you're able to achieve a really cool effect just through the equipment. Like this looks awesome. I mean, with the the rainbow glitching and the hard effects, uh, like the shadows are really, really punchy, and all the mid tones are. There's a whole lot of grain there. Like I really like the way this looks. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna kind of let this ride, just because I like the way the effect looks. And we'll put it on screen here for you. And it's kind of jumping around between all these different effects and looks. I'm not even touching the module. I'm not adjusting anything. It's just kind of, it's just kind of it's doing its thing. It's really dope. Yeah, I love this. Man, yeah, like I said, you, you line this up, you do this for an artist, like that just looks insane. And I mean, like I said, you can try to create effects like this, uh, like in After Effects, I suppose, but I imagine it would take, you know, a lot of research. If you don't already know how to do it, it would take a lot of research, a lot of trial and error, a lot of practice, and it would probably be a really big headache where, you know, there really is a, a case to be made that, although analog is kind of a step backwards in time in the progression of technology, uh, it is much easier to do something like this than it is for me to learn how to create an effect like this in After Effects. So, I love this. I love the way this looks and I love the way this is kind of coming out. I'm going to let this ride. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of experiment with some CRT looks and um, I'll put the link to this product down below to the artist that made this product. I think he's got other similar things, makes all kinds of interesting analog distortion toys. So feel free to go check him out. Feel free to buy something from him. Um, I really enjoy this and I, I really look, you know, there, there's a lot of different looks you can get. I mean, you're talking about 
You're taking the old school analog look and you're taking it to a whole new level when you add a tool like this to it. Um, it's just a whole nother level, man. And by the way, this artist is Money Mag. I want to give a shout out to him. Go check him out. Go listen to his music as well because he's the man. Man, I love it. I really do. I really do like the way this looks. But thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you want to check out any of the other videos I have about analog cameras and analog equipment, film, VHS, anything like that, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Enjoy some CRT footage and thanks again.